our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and the peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus our brother, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Good morning, everybody. Today's Mass is being celebrated for OLA clergy, living and deceased. Today we also celebrate the memorial of St. Benedict. Just a few words about him so we remember who we are celebrating, remembering in the church calendar today. Benedict was born of a pretty prominent family in Italy, uh, but he was pretty close, closely drawn to solitude. And at first he became a hermit, but eventually he gathered other hermits together and did so to support each other in a life of prayer. He founded one of the most famous monasteries in the world at Monte Cassino. He is known as the founder of Western monasticism, and he's also the founder of the Benedictines. He died in 547, so we remember St. Benedict today and really remember all Benedictines. As we prepare ourselves now to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we first take a moment of silence to remember that we're sinners and to pray for God's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the bread of life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the wine of salvation. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. And we pause for a moment of silent prayer. made the abbot St. Benedict an outstanding master in the school of divine services, grant, we pray, that putting nothing before love of you, we may hasten with a loving heart in the way of your commands. Through our brother Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, princes of Sodom. Listen to the instructions of our God, people of Gomorrah. What care I for the number of your sacrifices, says the Lord. I have had enough of the whole burnt rams and fat of fatlings. In the blood of calves, lambs, and goats, I, I find no pleasure. When you come in to visit me, who ask these things of you? Trample my courts no more. Bring me, bring no more worthless offerings. Your incenses are bothersome to me. New moon and Sabbath, calling of assemblies, octaves with wickedness, these I cannot bear. Your new moons and festivals I detest. They rot me down. I, I tire of the load. When you spread your, out your hands, I choose, I close my eyes in you. Though you pray no more, I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. Wash them clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim. Redress the wronged. Hear the orphan's plea. Defend the widow. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. 
Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statues and profess my covenant with your mouth? Though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you, to the upright I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think you that I am your, like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that does the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, Do not think that I have come to bring peace upon the earth. I have come to not bring peace, but the sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and one's enemies will be those of his household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives me, whoever receives you, receives me, and whoever receives me, receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet, because he is a prophet, will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever receives a righteous man, because he is righteous, will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink, because he is a disciple, Amen, I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. When Jesus finished giving these commands to his twelve disciples, he went away from that place to teach and to preach in their towns. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is a phrase we use when we want people to go along with things, to keep the peace, to keep things kind of on an even keel. The phrase, don't, over, don't knock over the apple cart, it kind of means the same thing. Don't disturb things. Leave them as they are. And in today's gospel passage, Jesus says the exact opposite. He says to his followers that he has come precisely to rock the boat. In other words, Jesus has come to bring about a change of values, and this will inevitably upset the way things are, the status quo. If we put God first and we love Jesus above all things, then obviously we will find ourselves experiencing inner and outer turmoil, but it won't be a useless turmoil. It will be the turmoil of calling attention to and at the same time trying to change the injustices of our day. Racism, war, wage biases, mistreatment of refugees, healthcare inequities, homelessness, and so on. Like Jesus, 
true disciples rock the boat to make the world a better place and to encourage growth in the values of the kingdom. May our communion with Christ today then help us in the ministry of rocking the boat. turn to our gracious and loving God and present our needs. For the church, that the holy sacrifice offered daily in her churches may be united to good deeds of every sort, making a pleasing offering to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they may make justice their aim, redressing the wronged, hearing the plea of the orphan, upholding the dignity of every human being. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our Lord Jesus Christ, whose life and doctrine compel us to choose him at the expense of good relations with those who are opposed to him, may give us the grace to put him first in our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sinking under their crosses, who need a helping hand along the way, a word of encouragement and cheer, that we may be their counselors until their trial is over. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We're asked today to pray for Jim Stevens and Maddie Lewis and all those mentioned in our prayer list and our book of intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have come to the complete loss of their life and death, that they may soon be purified to gain eternal and abundant life in heaven. We want to pray for Bob Jager and Patty Grisson. May they rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in the silence of our hearts, we add our own personal intentions. And for all of these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Lord. prayer. And together we pray for the intercession of Mary, our mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from all of my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all of God's holy church. Kindly, Lord, upon 
upon these holy offerings, which we make in honor of St. Benedict, and grant that by following his example in seeking you, we may merit the gifts of unity in your service and of peace. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our brother. For as on the festival of St. Benedict, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. You teach her by his words of preaching, and you keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, and so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread, Almighty Father, and said the blessing. He broke the bread, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more father giving you thanks he gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this and remember me of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. <clears throat> Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. <clears throat> Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your son in whose body and blood we have communion. And so having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity so that together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory, our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. We remember in a special way all of the deceased clergy from OLA. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, 
with our Mara saints, Marceline Champagne and Peter Chanel, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours forever and ever. Amen. Now at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all anxiety as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. Thank you, and we turn to each other with the gesture of Christ's peace. Jesus, the Paschal Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
us gather our prayers together. <clears throat> Having received this pledge of eternal life, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that attentive to the teachings of St. Benedict, we may faithfully serve your designs and love one another with fervent charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Eucharist is ended. We go forth glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks be to God. Have a great day, everybody.